<laughs> oh, baby, you're awake. Ah, ah, baby, don't struggle. It's just me, your girlfriend. I know you're tied up and blindfolded, but don't worry, it's all me. You're in good hands. Surely you can tell it's actually me by my voice. <laughs> yes, babe, it is me, your girlfriend and co-worker, but especially your girlfriend. What am I doing? Well, it was after work and time for us to go home. I know we originally planned to just drive home together, but it's Friday, and I wanted to do something a little more fun. So I thought, why not kidnap you? <laughs> You see, after we both left the building and got into the car to go home, I handed you that cup of coffee I bought you earlier. What I didn't tell you was that I actually put some sleeping powder in it. So then, of course, you fell asleep, and when no one was looking, carried you to the back seat, laid you down, and then I tied you up and blindfolded and gagged you. You looked really cute when you were lying on the seat, tied up, blindfolded and gagged, completely at my mercy. <laughs> So then, I drove us home, and you surprisingly didn't wake up for the entire trip. I guess that sleeping stuff really does its job, huh? It's a good thing that we bought this house with a large garage, so after we're home, I can just carry you upstairs into our bedroom without anyone knowing a thing. We don't want any outsiders getting in our way, hmm? <laughs> and that brings us right here, where we are now. So what do you think? Am I a genius? I kidnapped you successfully without you knowing, and I never got caught. And now look at you, tied up helplessly on this chair. God, I just love kidnapping you. It's just so much fun for me. And for you as well, right? Yeah, you like this too, don't you? <laughs> I'm so glad that we're not just working in the same office, but we're also co-workers that get to see each other a lot. I will never get tired of seeing you. In fact, I crave it. Plus, our closeness at work just makes things so much easier. And we won't raise suspicion because we're co-workers in their eyes. What do they know anyways? Aren't you just glad as well that we get to be so freaking close with each other, even at work? And we get to be even closer off of work, which is even better. <laughs> hmm? What was that? Oh, you want more kisses? <laughs> okay, I can fulfill that wish. I wanted to kiss you too. <laughs> Here. Fuck. I can never get tired of your kisses, baby. It just feels... so invigorating. It's like we're literally showering each other with love and affection. And I'll never stop craving your love. Nor will I ever want to stop giving you my love as well. <laughs> exactly. I'm so glad we agree with each other yet again. Now I want to tell you a few things that's on my heart. But I just want you to sit there and listen to me talk and not do anything else. So I'm going to put this gag in your mouth. Because I want you to be quiet for me. Plus I love gagging you. Is that okay? <laughs> Good boy. Here, open up. There, now the duct tape. Oh, you look so adorable. Tied up and gagged by me. <laughs> I need to kiss you some more. <sighs> okay now, babe. You know that, when I first started to have feelings for you, I would often fantasize about kidnapping you. I'd been thinking about putting you to sleep, tying you up, gagging you, and keeping you at my place. I didn't want to hurt you. I just wanted to bring you to somewhere private and intimate. It all feels really thrilling and exciting, and I've been wanting to do it. But I didn't want to make you uncomfortable or scared and I didn't want to drive you away. So I waited for a better time. Then we became closer. One day after work, we were chatting about anime, and I noticed the stories and characters that you liked the most. 
They were always these yandere stories where the main character would often get kidnapped and tied up by the yandere girl. I could tell you found the stories exhilarating every time you talked about it. And then one day you came to my house, and you accidentally saw the bundles of rope that I usually hid under my bed. You didn't say anything, but I saw you noticing. At first I feared that you'd think I'm a weirdo for keeping rope under my bed. I was honestly so worried and my heart was racing. But surprisingly, ever since the incident, you actually became more eager to spend time with me. As time went on, I mustered up the courage to confess to you, and you literally couldn't be any happier. Do you still remember that day? <laughs> so then we started dating. We shared almost everything about each other, including what we're into. And just as I thought, you're into yandere's. And I'm someone who could satisfy your fantasies. And that was exactly what I've been doing to you. Do you remember all of that? Because I still remember everything. Every piece of memory between us, from start to now. You're just so fucking important to me, my love. I don't ever want to leave you, or have you leave my side. I'm just looking at you right now. I really love seeing you like this. Tied up and gagged in front of me? You can't move unless I let you. And you're not going anywhere, and neither will I. The best part is that there's no one else but the two of us, just being with each other, and the ropes that bind you remind the both of us that you belong to me, and I belong to you. I know that this is really restrictive, but it's not like you don't love it when I do this to you. <laughs> and besides, you can always do the same to me. If you want to kidnap me or tie me up to a chair while you spend time with me, I'd love it. Mmm, babe. Can I unbutton your shirt? I just really want to see some more skin. 